state. Hundreds gathered to learn about the rights and legal services for undocumented immigrants fearing deportation. They're scared. They don't want to go to school. They don't want to go to hospitals. Just because of that, that's really scary. And that's, this is the nation of the immigrants. Sponsoring the forum, Congressman Joseph Crowley and Assemblyman Francisco Moya. The Assemblyman is a graduate of St. Leo's Catholic Elementary School and says this is a great time to have the backing of the church. Immigrants from every single shore of this, of this planet have come through uh, the church. Uh, and I think it's such an important partnership to have uh, on an issue like this where it impacts uh, people who really are the most vulnerable at this time. The church's pastor, Father William Hoppe, says he preaches to vulnerable immigrants, letting them know they're supported. We've said from the pulpit that the church stands with them, that we're not going to forget them or abandon them. We want them to be safe. We want families to be together, and we'll work for that. But yet, this Catholic school teacher says her students are worried, so she's attending the event featuring city agencies to learn how she can help undocumented immigrants. With the current atmosphere in Margarita Fernandez's classes, there are worried youngsters, even those with parents that have legal status. Children are concerned about their families, even though sometimes like the parents um, are not, but they have relatives who are, and I think it's better to be informed. This Ecuadorian immigrant believes the forum is good to have, especially during the current holy season. Glenn is a very good time to reflect on your, your own life and the life of others and humble yourself during that period. To learn about resources being offered, you can call 311 or Catholic Migration Services. Reporting for Currents from Corona, I'm Tim Harfman.